Hey guys, this looks like a fun one. It says the square root of x plus the square root of the quantity x plus 42 equals 7 over the square root of x. And it wants us to solve for x. If you want to try it on your own, pause it right now because I'm going to solve it in 3, 2, 1. First, I don't really like fractions. So to get rid of this denominator, let's multiply both sides of the equation by square root of x. On the left hand side, this will distribute to both of these terms. We'll have root x times root x, which is equal to x, and root x times root of this is equal to root x root of this. And then on the right-hand side, these two root x's will cancel each other out, leaving us with 7. Next, let's get these square roots alone on this side. Let's subtract x from both sides. On the left-hand side, these x's cancel each other out, so we're left with these two roots. And then on the right-hand side, 7 minus x is 7 minus x. And now that these roots are alone on this side, we can get rid of them by squaring both sides. On the left-hand side, both of these square roots and the square will cancel each other out, leaving us with x times the quantity x plus 42. And on the right-hand side, to do 7 minus x squared, there's a couple different ways you can handle this. Usually I just FOIL it out, but a lot of people requested these notes, so let's do it. Using these notes, it's going to be this first term squared, which is 49. Then you do 2 times this term times this term, which ends up being negative 14x. And then we finish with this term squared, which is x squared. Next, on the left-hand side, we can distribute this x to both of these terms. That gives us x squared plus 42x, and then we can bring down the right-hand side. From here, we have an x squared on both sides of the equation, so let's subtract x squared from both sides. And then I want to get all the x's on the same side, so let's add 14x to both sides. On the left-hand side, these x squareds cancel, and then 42x plus 14x is 56x. And then on the right-hand side, all this stuff cancels, so we have 49. Next, we can divide both sides by 56. On the left-hand side, we have x, and on the right-hand side, we have 49 over 56. 49 and 56 are both divisible by 7, so this will simplify to 7 eighths. And this is the answer to our question. x is equal to 7 eighths. Let's put a box around it. How exciting. And here's tomorrow's problem. It wants us to simplify the power tower 8 to the 3 to the i to the 2 to the 4 to the 0. This looks like a fun one. How exciting.